welcome to my farmhouse. I'm Leanne and today we are participating in Air Fryer February put on by Prepper Preparee. 14 different channels have come together to provide you a new air fryer recipe every day this month. I'll leave the playlist down below for your watching pleasure. Now today I am taking my pantry home canned chicken and turning it into a chicken patty for a sandwich that I've made from scratch. And if you're new to my channel, I do cooking and baking from scratch, canning and dehydrating videos. And if that interests you, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. It really helps my channel to grow and I sure do appreciate it. I can easily have this whipped up in 20 minutes and on my table. It's one thing that if my husband says, I'm coming in for lunch and I don't have any thawed meat out, this is my go-to, or at least one of them. So let's get started, shall we? You'll need one pint of home canned chicken. I prefer to can mine hot pack so I can get more chicken in the jar. It doesn't stick to the side of the jar when you hot pack it that way. You'll need a quarter cup of mayonnaise, two eggs, two third cups of breadcrumbs. I made mine from the French bread that I posted earlier this week. So go check that video out. A tablespoon of parsley, a teaspoon of oregano, and this is to taste. You'll need a tablespoon of honey mustard, a teaspoon of celery powder. I grow mine and dehydrate it and turn it into powder. Half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of poultry seasoning. A half a teaspoon of onion powder. Quarter a teaspoon of garlic powder. Quarter teaspoon of salt and an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper. And that is to taste. My husband doesn't like to taste salt that much in his food. And so I oblige. All right, let's put this all together. You can use your stand mixer for this. I'm using the Pamper Chef Mix and Chop to break up my pieces of meat. Or you can use a pastry cutter or two forks. It's whatever you have on hand to make it easy to break apart. You want to crack your eggs. And I always crack my eggs into a separate bowl. All right, then we're going to dump the eggs in. Breadcrumbs, the mayonnaise parsley, oregano, celery powder, poultry powder, onion powder, garlic powder, salt and pepper, and a tablespoon of honey mustard. Then you're just gonna mix, mix it up. Get it fully incorporated with each other. Now my air fryer is the type that uses wire rack and I'm gonna be using parchment paper that is designed for air fryers to put the chicken on. To make a nice portion, you need two scoops of this. This is probably a quarter cup, so maybe a half a cup. And you just wanna form it into a patty. And try to get them about the same size. And the same thickness. Now the key is to get them flat, but not maybe a half inch thick, maybe no more than that. Now, if you're not in a hurry, and have this pre-planned. You can chill these so they hold their shape better and drench them in flour and egg and breadcrumbs. But honestly, I've never done that because I've done this lots of times on the fly when my husband says, I'm about to come in, I have no meat thawed out. So this is a go-to recipe for me. So that's an option that you can do. And it might be more kid friendly, but this way is also more keto friendly. But you could replace the breadcrumbs with maybe Funyuns or um, pork rinds to make it keto friendly. At the halfway point, you want to turn them over.
and look how beautiful these are. And they just look like they were deep fried as well. Here is a simple garlic aioli sauce, because similar to mayonnaise. You're gonna need three egg whites, a quarter cup of lemon juice, one teaspoon of salt, one eighth teaspoon of white pepper. Now the recipe calls for three large cloves of garlic. Well, I'm not running the store just for three cloves of garlic. I looked on the internet for a conversion rate from granulated garlic to whole cloves, and a quarter teaspoon of granulated garlic is equal to one clove of garlic. One cup of light olive oil. To make aioli, you can use a blender or an immersion blender. They do the same thing. For a lighter taste, you can use egg whites, but you can also use egg yolks. Place your eggs and lemon juice, salt and pepper, and your garlic powder into the machine. Then, while the machine is running, you want to add your oil slowly but gradually until you get emulsification. Let's build this wonderful sandwich by spreading the aioli on both sides of the bread just because we can because we're using lighter ingredients maybe not that's why we just wanted it all right then we're going to add our home canned sweet pickle relish and our chicken patty to the bun and boy does that look good All right, so here we have it, a chicken patty sandwich. Everything on this plate, I made somehow, some way. I made the bun, I made the chicken, I made the only sauce, and, the, and I made the relish. So let's give it a bite, shall we? Mm. Our homemade food should not be eaten pretty. I'm sorry, I might have to take another bite. So thanks for joining me here on Air Fryer February. I've made this 11 o'clock at night already to feed my husband and I after a long day. It is really good. I don't think any fast food place can match a sandwich like this. This was made by love and homegrown food and homemade from scratch food. I hope you give this a try. Thanks for joining me here at the farmhouse. I appreciate you stopping by. And until next time, God bless. Thanks for watching to the end. And now here's another great video of mine that you might want to watch.